Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about the Lightning McQueen uh, subgenre of metal. So it's the one that always remembers to turn right before, or right to turn left. Um, shout out to Hudson Hornet. Um, yeah, it's speed metal. Welcome to Tune Fever, baby. Okay, everybody, here we are. We have arrived at our next subgenre, speed metal. So. I want to tell you guys about speed metal. It began in the early eighties. Um, yeah. So I, let's talk about what sets speed metal apart from other subgenres. So let's take a look at this list. It is quite fast. You may be thinking, but a lot of metal is quite fast. Well, good point. And you're right, but speed metal is fast as like a priority. So I think it's important to talk about um, that, that they're fast kind of for the because because that's like one of their goals they want to be fast um and so what that means is that it leads to certain decisions being made by the players um which is why i put sloppy there on the list so they're fast and so the techniques of how they're playing the music kind of is affected because they want to be so fast so you know they may have like they may forego things like palm mutes you know, the riffs won't be as chug, chug, chuggy or like the open hi-hat sound. They'll be really, really sloshy. And, uh, you know, the drums might not be, they might not sound super duper quantized and the playing might not be extremely clean, but that's not to say that speed metal can't be like technical or have some technicality to it. Um, it's just to say that sometimes certain techniques are kind of foregone for the sake of speed of the music. And so that's definitely a critical element of the sound. It's a bit more raw and gritty, and I would say even sloppy in certain aspects. So next we have higher vocals here. And I put that because we're not quite to the punk vocal. We're just not quite there. Um, we'll get there when we get to thrash metal, whenever we talk about that. That's a more influenced by the punk vocal style. But I would say most speed metal bands, that is not true for all of them most of them are sort of still influenced by the classic heavy metal vocal style, sort of higher, sometimes operatic. Um, so that, I would say that that's still um, the more, the more uh, primary vocal influence in speed metal. So recommendations, here we go. Um, for those of you guys who have seen other videos in this series, this is episode three, by the way, um, you'll know that I like to do two classics, two favorites, and two that I find interesting. So we're gonna start off with a classic. And basically I'm recommending that you guys listen to these albums to get the sound of speed metal in your head. Cause I think these will help if you want to know what speed metal is and what it sounds like. Hold on, let me take this drink. And let's get going. <clears throat> so this is Motorhead. They have an album that came out in 1980. It is called Ace of Spades. This album was overshadowed by the title track. This title track is amazing, so it makes sense why. I want to say that this album is great. I really like it all the way through. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's hardly a sleeper pick, you know? Um, it might not be my favorite Motorhead album, but I think it is where Motorhead um, is kind of like really well known for this. And so I think it's a classic. You know, it's probably more of a classic than their other albums, although I would kind of consider their other albums to be classics. I personally really like Overkill. And Overkill is one of the most important speed metal songs ever, maybe. But, you know, this is probably, um, you know, in, in a list where I'm recommending, like, get to know the sound of speed metal, and I want to recommend music that hopefully you guys will like, I would say this is a good taste test. You know, maybe just the song Ace of Spades is a good you know, kind of taste test to start getting into the sound. Um, and I hope everybody knows Ace of Spades. It's very popular and it's great. So it's popular for a good reason, which is great. So, uh, yep, really love, you know, obviously Lemmy with the bass and vocals, um, amazing riffs, amazing guitar solos, a lot of rock. And it's, it's pretty cool, pretty dang cool. Uh, we have this band called Exciter. They have a 1983 album called Heavy Metal Mania Maniac that I would consider a classic within speed metal. Um, I like about this 
Particularly, I like the guitar playing. I think it's pretty fascinating and sometimes a bit experimental, which is interesting for this subgenre of metal to, to do all the experimenting and, and whatnot. But yeah, I find the guitar pretty dang awesome. Um, but yeah, the vocal delivery, it's kind of like operatic punk. It's an interesting delivery. Um, yep. It's all about being loud and in your face. You know, that's a good thing for metal to be, you know. Next. We'll go on to some of my personal favorites that I think fit within uh, speed metal. Here is this uh, band called Sacrifice. They have an album from, is it 1986? Called Torment and Fire. I want to say 1986. So this album, it sounds like they have kind of been influenced by Slayer. Um, but it's, it's a bit raw and sloppier. Um, but I mean, very, very, um, very, very heavy and very powerful. Um, an impressive musicianship and uh, it's a great one uh, but yeah definitely kind of a favorite within uh, speed metal for me personally um, but yeah it has that kind of slayer influence in, in it that you can really hear so if you like slayer you'll probably like this um, so check it out uh, next up this is an album by uh, Dark Angel yeah this one could probably be argued that it fits in thrash, but I think it fits in speed because it sounds, it, it, I mean, it never left that classic speed metal sound. It just kind of has some more chuggy riffs. That's, you know, so I guess you could say that, but, but I think it still holds true to all the kind of classic speed metal tropes that I was mentioning earlier, um, you know, with some sloppiness. It just has some more kind of chuggy riffage. And so, it, it's sort of in between. I call it speed for sure. Um, that's that's definitely my opinion. I you know I think I'm right. You you'll have to see when you hear it for yourself. But uh, yeah, this is it's very cool, um, very dark. I mean the band is Dark Angel. The album's called Darkness Descends. I think it's trying to tell you something. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. It's from 1986. Very very cool one. Um, but yeah. It's speed metal. For anybody who wants to argue with me, I'm going to keep holding to that. So we're in the interesting section. Here's an album by a band called Adam Craft called Future Warriors. This to me has a very similar appeal to like Agent Orange, which Agent Orange is a band that I really like. Um, particularly, I of course, like their album Living in Darkness. The whole album is great. Um, this to me, this album has a very similar appeal in that it is very heavy and very rocking, but also pretty lo-fi. And uh, that's unique for speed metal, but I really like to listen to this thing. So definitely gonna stick that here in the interesting category, some nice speed metal from this band called Adam Craft with a K. Um, next up on the interesting list, there's this band called Warfare that made this album uh, called Metal Anarchy. And it's, from 1985? I'm actually not sure. Hmm, interesting. Um, quality content here. But but yeah, this album's really great. A lot of uh, awesome playing and great metal. It's also not dark at all, which makes it pretty interesting. But I really like it. You know, a lot of metal's got some darkness to it. But this album, pretty much, it's like the light. Yeah. It, it's, it's very cool. I really like the album. I find it pretty, I, I kind of find it to be a bit of an oddball, but it definitely does fit into speed metal. Um, so check it out. Check all these things out. Listen to them. Get to know speed metal. It's a good one. So here we have my sources cited so that you can see how everything is spelled out because if you try to look up Adam Craft with a C, doubt you'll find it. Um, yeah, and also probably don't look that one up on streaming services. I'm not sure it's there, but the other ones should be. Um, but yeah, you can probably find it on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, and uh, you know, so there's the albums I recommended spelled out. Be sure to watch Shrek, and until next time, bye! Bye!